Alright, I think we're good. All good. All, 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 all's good. Oh, almost. I, I know my phone. I know what my phone is doing. Thank you, computer. Hello, everybody! Yes. <laughs> Spooka spelling. What did, what did, what did it, what did I, what did I fix? Fix it. <laughs> okay. And let me turn down my phone. So it looks like the stream isn't lagging for me at least. So there's at least that help. That, that to look forward to. Um, all right. So last time we worked on the scenery that we're going to be using for our animation. And this was the plan. So the theme of the competition is stuck indoors. And I thought I would uh, take that in, well, one, one predictable direction and the other one not so predictable. So this is the scene that we have set up. Um, Puka, Puka will be coming through a portal. We still need to make that portal in this area. Uh, he'll be coming through this door. He'll flip this lever here and the gold door will open up. He'll step out and he will see this area, this jungle area that's just inside of this stone pyramid with all these streams of light coming in through. And there's a little bit of corruption that he notices on the side of the path as he goes up to the prize which happens to be some sort of dragon egg with an ender crystal inside of it. We'll grab that, that will um, that'll close up as he grabs it, but there will be a warden that will pop out of this hole, and the warden will chase Puka down this path. And they will end up in here. Puka will th throw the lever, and the warden, uh, the door will come down on top of the warden. So the warden will be stuck in a door. As uh, as Puka turns to start putting up the runes in order to activate the portal, the warden will start pushing up the door with his back, trying to get free in order to catch Puka. Puka starts panic, jumps through the portal just in time, and the portal disengages and the door slams behind the warden, and then the warden will be stuck indoors inside of this teeny little room here. So, there will be two stuck indoors and references for the competition. So that is the plan. Yeah, stuck, stuck in, stuck indoors. Stuck indoors. Uh, Puka, your key buttons, thank you very much. I appreciate that reminder every single time. <laughs> uh, so that now that we have most of the scene, we do still need some portal, a bunch of effects, some other things uh, like little creeping animals, I guess, inside of this area. But so this area is pretty much finished, pretty much finished. What we do need to do now is we need to actually make the Warden. And if any of you know what's happening with Minecraft, the Warden isn't even out. It's not going to be out until summer of next year. So, what I've gone ahead and done is I've created my own skin for the Warden. Because I wanted to make sure I, I did everything myself on this guy. I wanted to create the warden from the videos. Uh, do, 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 do. Here, there we go. I did go ahead and start creating this guy off of this skin that I created, but it is a little bit off. I did take a look at other people's skins, but it's not the right, um, not the right size. Well, welcome back to your desk. <laughs> Hello, Jen. You weren't driving when you said you're on your way, did you? Did you? <laughs> I don't like it when people do that while they're driving. It scares me. It really does scare me. All right, so I think I'm going to change this back down to 16 squares. So now this is a 16 by, uh, it should be 16 by 16 square by eight. That's how big I think it is. 
how big I think the warden's head is. And the warden's head is kind of weird. Okay, good, good. At least, at least you walk. So now I need to import the new skin that I have for the warden. Let me go ahead and grab that guy. 3D rendering. Oh, music. I nearly forgot. Chrono trigger. And put on some randomness. There we go. Oh, window. I need my window still. Textures, Minecraft skins, uh, game textures, entity. Entity, warden. There we go, warden. And I have a new warden skin to put in here. Hello? Hello, where did the skin go? Where did the skin go? There we go, there's the skin. Nah, put that into references. In references, thank you. Now I have this other skin, which is a little bit smaller on the head. So the, the head head size is a little bit smaller. So that way I can fit the proportions better. Because I I did find it weird that my pixel count did come out to the same size as the body. Because I do know that the body is a little bit bigger than the head for the war warden. A little bit wider. So I reduced it down to 16 pixels instead of 20. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, Remy. Um, it's like two streets away. Also, I don't know your rules, but there isn't uh, very legal. It isn't very legal to text while driving in some places. There, there is this thing called uh, a, as I would put it, we, in my grocery store. There's little Twinkies or something like that. But there's also things called zingers and ding dongs, and one of them that we had for Fourth of July was a Star Spangled Ding Dong, which I like to refer to some of our <laughs> some of our American friends as Star Spangled Ding Dongs. That when you have the right to do it, you are going to go do it as much as you want to. So texting and driving is not legal; is still legal in some places. Uh, how doggo? Doggo is okay. <laughs> yes, Star Spangled Ding Dong. That's what I call them. <laughs> um, Remy is okay. Um, he's laying down here. He's not whining too much right now. What are you doing, Akila? Don't tell me you need it. You're having the same problems, or are you just wanting to get out of the, the room? I don't want to repeat offense from from the adult, other dog, Aquila. Um, but yeah, Remy's doing okay. He just probably ate something that I gave him. Probably like a cracker too many or something like that. But he'll be fine. He'll be very much totally fine. Uh, let's go ahead and collect all of this. Move this over a bit. Okay. Good, and let's go ahead and give this a texture, shall we? Um, nope, I can't do that. Well, I have that. There we go. Let's give this a proper shading texture. We want, zoop, there you are. Add in a texture, image texture, and we want to put in the Warden number two. Color, and then, good, that's showing up on our box up there. Yeah, too many poopa snacks. <laughs> My gosh, it, it, it stank in here for, for a while. I was glad that I was able to tone it down a little bit for the, for the live stream just by opening up the windows. It did get a little bit chilly during the the live stream, but I, I could take the chilliness over over the over the stank. <laughs> shader, mix shader is what we need. Mix shader and shader transparent. We want a transparent shader. 
alpha and into position. Flip these two. There we go. Oi. Still. Yeah. And Kayla's doing fine. He's just being picky. There you go. Good boy. You can lay down. Um, I need, instead of linear, I need closest to make sure that that, that texture is all pixelated. Because linear can kind of blends things out. That's, that's good for some things, but not for what I'm doing. I want closest, which is pixelator. It's looking good. I think that's the front of the box. Mm. Everyone, you can donate up to 2k uh, points uh, for a shared goal, even if you donated yesterday. Ooh. So, you donated two... Oh, no. Community challenge, 50% complete. I'm glad you gave me that um, link, Jen. I think, Jen, you're the one that gave me that link that had the, uh, the text on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh darn! You you couldn't you couldn't donate while um while the stream was down. Why is this not transparent? Oh 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 oh! I know why it's not transparent because I need to same change the settings to alpha clip. Here we go. Shadow mode. Alpha clip. There we go. Much better. All right. Let's go ahead into the UV editing. Do, do I want Warden 2. There we go. Let's go ahead and shrink all these things down to what we want. Uh, grab. Ooh. Grab. There we go. Scale. Do, do, do. Scale again. Mm, I thought it was 16 by 16. What's going on here? What is going on here? This is a good. This is a good square. It's a very good square. Did I do something wrong in Photoshop? Uh, I may have done something wrong in Photoshop. Let's bring up Photoshop again. Just FYI, this may crash my computer. Embarrass myself. Channel points down there. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at Warden number two. What have I done to this? Did I not do this correctly? Uh, select. Oh, you're not going to show me, are you? I'm going to have to count this silly thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 right there. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That outfit 17, is not 18. looking too hot right now. Not you need something quite. that looks prettier. Outfit change! Oh my gosh! We need to change something to Sleepy, because Sleepy isn't here. She just went to bed. I know we were talking with Sleepy, and Sleepy had to go to sleep. The home file. Do, 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 do. Sleepy flowers. Boink. Got our little uh, silk pajamas on. Nice and soft everywhere. Yep, it looks like it's not 16 wide. I'm actually going to have to change this again. So, it looks like I need to get rid of, like, two more pixels on the side way. Or should I? You know what? No. This is my model, dang it. This, this is my model. I am going to change it how I want to. I'm not going to go off of somebody else's little texture. We are going to change this again to a, not quite a um, 20 by 20 head, but at least an 18 by 18 head. Oop, nope, I want this one. There we go. 18 by 18. All right. 
So let's give this another grab on the side here. Oh, wait, no, that's that's not how that works. That's not how that works. All right, and then rotate uh, nine. What? Nope, nope, all. Rotate nine, there we go, D. What? Rotate 180. Eventually I'll get it in the right spot. My model, dang it. <laughs> I'm still sleeping. Uh, my model's my rules, right? Right? Um, you're still sleeping? I don't know what you mean by that. Model. So we have a... Where is the other side? Here's the other side. Grab you. This is the last side. If I remember Minecraft modeling rules. Uh, the left side, no, their right side of the head is the last one to wrap around, I think, right? No, all, grab, no. That's the right, that's the right side. This one, all, grab, and then shrink. This one is right next to the head. This one needs to be counted out for eight pixels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right there. It shouldn't matter too much because the back and the sides of the heads are pretty much very similar. They're just a kind of a blackest bluish mass with just a few stars in between it. Uh, this one I might need to count out to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, eighteen. Oh, that's not rotated properly either. But at least they're on the right borders perspectives, right? <laughs> Since I can't spell. <laughs> spell. Spiel? Spiel. Well, I'm right there with you, the penguin. Believe you, me, I am right there with you. Rotate 90. Uh, negative 90? I think that's the direction I want to go. There we go. And then this needs to be rotated the right direction. One, two. And then rotate negative 90. Yes. Perfect. One, two. Good. And then this one needs to be rotated the right direction. Rotate 90. No. Negative 90. Oh, sweet. Head to piece. Head to piece. Grab. Uh, shrink you down. You are 16. No, you should be 18 by... Oh. We'll accept. <laughs> you win in duels left and right, Jen. <laughs> Oh no! Kiku has also. Oh. 80%. Oh. I'm starting to feel queasy, guys. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, may not have. I, I may not be able to do this. I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Uh, can't do it. Sorry. Rotate 180. <laughs> Right, and bottom piece. All grab and then shrink you down too. Shrink you down. 
and grab do 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 um do, 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 do. actually does that need to be changed no I don't think that needs to be changed I think we're good I don't know where that dot is supposed to go anyways all right I think that's good I think we have the head of the warden sweet it's all coming together his mouth won't be movable I thought that that might be a little too complicated. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how to do a creeper mouth problem, possibly, and that that seems a little complicated too. Puka, we are not here. You will just be singing to yourself. Will, will I? I don't know. With this age of technology, I think you'll be able to hear it from literally all the way around the world. Um... Let me see here, is, is, what is exactly all the way around the world from United States? Specifically somewhere around the, the New York, Ohio region. I wonder where, wonder what's on the exact opposite side. Kind of pushing pressure on yourself, it's fun. <laughs> Zodiac, hi Zodi, Ack. How you doing? I appreciate you coming by. I won't say about the points, though. <laughs> Alright, so we have one part of the warden. Let's go ahead and start, start making the body. So now we have all the areas mapped out a little bit correctly. So the body should be, um, I think, one pixel wider on each side. Okay. And then... <laughs> I can't don donate more. <laughs> I know! It'd be like, people would have to... Other people would have to come to the stream. Oh darn! <laughs> In order to donate, oh, um, so 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 sad. We're not going to be able to meet that goal today. I'm I'm so so beat up about it. <laughs> we need what is the the pixel range on on the body? I think I set it to twenty two. One two three four five six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, good. It's twenty-two by twenty, I believe. Uh, do 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 do. Minimize that. So we're at negative sixteen. So let's go to negative twenty-two. All right, and then. Hit everything, grab, and bring you down. Um, let's scale this up. And scale you up again. Uh, not quite the results that I want, but it will be good enough. No. Uh, oh, that's right. I want vertices, not the other thing. Vertices, grab. think why do I have oh oh whoops well that's a horrifying mess that I've just done <laughs> well had I been actually paying attention to what I was doing maybe this wouldn't have happened but now the warden's face is also its stomach um 
Let's see how many how many um un undoes I can I can go back to. Wow. Um Yep, go back. There we go. And we'll just deal with the temporary horrifying mess, which is its faces now of its, its stomach. <laughs> right? Somebody on Twitter uh, wanted me to uh, not make it too scary, and I thought I would describe to them in detail exactly how it was going to get pretty scary. <laughs> I know, cruel of me, but yeah, I I do want to try this make make this just just a little tidbit creepy. I really do. I I do enjoy making a good uh, creep factor. Do, 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 do. I do not enjoy, however, uh, I was telling him um, while I was on call with kind kitten telling him that I was making this Twitter to the person that didn't want me to make it too scary. I told him that uh, about my um, real life fear that I have. I have a real life fear of uh, the undead. You can't uh, see because of the flowers in your face. Yeah, that's exactly why. <laughs> so yeah, I have, I have a real life fear of uh, the undead. And, um, one time during, while I was on my birthday party, uh, I had a bunch of people over and all their cars were out parked back. And this was all over at my parents' place. It was a slightly wooded area. So, one of my friends, uh, comes up to me saying, Hey, Jeff, you need to move your car so somebody can get out. So I go outside in the middle of the darkness and out pops one of my friends with a... A completely dark cloak on all the way to his feet so you can't see that any of his body. Is not looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Pretty outfit hot. change! Oh my gosh! Wait, what? You want the jungle? <laughs> Flowers aren't helping you. What, uh, let's see what you do. Please change uh, to the jungle one. More fitting. Also, the undead. <laughs> yeah, undead. So let's, yeah, let's go to the, um, so the person jumps out. He has a dark cloak on, and the dark cloak happens, uh, he only has on a skeleton mask. And the skeleton mask is the only thing that I see. And I hazily, very hazily remember, um, just moving around somewhat while, like, uh, his, his head is just hazily in my, me in, in my memory, just kind of floating within this, uh, wooded area, but I the memory starts to become a little bit more clear when somebody says stop hitting Ethan with your keys so Apparently if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'll at least pull out my keys and start punching things <laughs> I won't remember any of the zombie apocalypse, but all the zombies will be dead just via my p fists and car keys jab 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 <laughs> So, yeah, and I apparently I'm really good at, I hate walk animations because I'm not good at them, but I'm really good at animating zombie motions. If, if you've seen the, the beginning of some of uh, Zumavoid's videos, at the beginning of them, there's uh, all the Demise skins doing the zombie walk. Um, I, I thought those turned out really well. I thought those turned out fantastic, those zombie walks. Um, but yeah, so I'm apparently good at doing zombie animations, but I hate zombies. <laughs> who scared me didn't had, had that intention. Oh, similar experience, but the person who scared me didn't had that intention. Oof. <laughs> All right. Uh, Puka Jungle. All right. I am Puka Jungle now. Do, do, do. I can see more clearly. I just blacked out, and the next thing I know, I'm in the corner of the room screaming. Oh. Yeah, uh, I feel like it could have gone either way for me. I really do. It could have gone either I was going to run away screaming, but, uh, yeah, I'm, 
I'm kind of glad that I started hitting my friend. I'm kind of not. He was my friend. Still is, actually. Let's go ahead and grab a arm, shall we? Let's, I think this, the arms are eight by eight, I think. So let's go ahead and grab this. We are aiming for a square type thingy. All right, so let's actually count this one out just to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, good. Eight by eight. Doink. One of my colleagues found out the hard way that I punch whatever startles me. <laughs> uh, mm, hopefully it's not an inanimate object where it's just a um, <laughs> where it's just a metal plate of a of a skull just pop out of nowhere, just like ha 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 ha! I punch the metal plate and. And the only damage you do is just your fist. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and grab all of this. Move this on over. Grab, and we are going to shrink down on the x-axis. Do-do, right there. That's good enough. And let's go ahead and grab all of these. Actually, everything scale Y. Let's do a little bit of Y scale too. So I don't have to do too much weirdness with this. There we go. Grab. And then this guy. Grab, bring on over. This one needs to be changed too. Right here. Good. Now we have one of the arms. Oh, I picked the right side, too. Puka is making, um... Oh! Creative Dimension! Hello! Thank you for joining. Did anyone else get the... Get, uh, error? Error? No, Puka is making skin animation MC prep. All right, so the thing I did with this guy is that I, in order to make it simpler on myself, I only am just going to mirror the left and the right side. So the skin was easier to put together. I didn't need to flip anything during Photoshop. Well, thank you for the follow creative dimension. The creative dimension where everything is created. I think... Uh, how do I do this? I think I'm going to just take this, and I think I'll flip the UV. So the UV is going to get flipped. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I think it's going to be this one and this one. Nope. This one. Nope. I want that one. Nope. That one. That one. You're gonna fight with me, aren't you? Fine. Control L, hide. Fight with me now. Alright. And then these two need to be scale X negative one. Flip these two things. And then these need to be flipped individually. Uh, scale X negative one. Flip that. Scale X negative one. All right, perfect. And then I can just use these for the legs. Control hide, bring back that body. Save. Uh, do, 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 do. Why am I not able to scroll up? Hello? Uh, 20 new flowers. Oh, hey, the penguin bot is back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the penguin bot. Mm, penguin 
about has a description of the following the ad cards. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. You lost. <laughs> Cheese again. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have those, we can actually duplicate these arms, and these arms are going to become the legs. So let's go ahead and duplicate these guys. Uh, and we're going to bring these guys down few blocks and then we're gonna individually bring these guys in so I think the legs are pretty small I think they're what is it uh, I think I measured out 16 oh, 6 by 14 I believe so these guys need to shrink by a significant amount so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, good. 14, and then these need to diminish by one pixel on each side. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, no, make this quicker, shall we? Let's grab all with both sides at the same time. Are the keys on? I don't think the keys are on. Different save, sorry about that. Keys are now on. There we go. Don't worry, it wasn't your fault. I just changed file saves and caused everything to change. All right, and then, there we go. Thank you for the follow there, Gracil Art. I appreciate the follow. There are mini games. Hello. Donate to the cause. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh no. Oh no. How much how how far are we? Okay, we're still at we're still at 80, 87%. Uh we we're still at 87%. Good, don't panic yet. Don't panic yet. Once it once it happens, you, you can panic later, right? All right, uh, good. I think that's correct. I think. Oh, those arms aren't long enough. That's what's wrong. These arms aren't long enough. Okay, I need the arms to be... How big are the arms? They are, so, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think I put them at 30. So Speaking 22. of safe, control plus S. <laughs> Contr oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yark. Saved. There we go. Um, so 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, there we go. That's better. That is much better. Now let's get these uh, legs all skinned up, shall we? Uh, do, do, do. Grab. Whoop. Everything. I want to grab everything. We are going to scale Y. Bring you on down. Scale Y. Keep on going down. Grab right in there as whereabouts. Okay. Move on in. Move on in. Grab these guys, move on in. Scale X. Perfect. Oops, nope, I don't want to move you. There we go. I think that's correct. Something doesn't feel right, though. Something definitely doesn't feel right. Uh, I need to check a reference image, don't I? Do I have any reference images up? Uh, 3D rendering... Uh, projects... Uh, my models? No, 3D rendering... My models... 
reference. Reference images. Here we go. I want to check this out. No, that's... That's about right. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, the color's a little off, but I expected that much. I mean, re I'm recreating it from a fuzzy video. Basically. There are a few more dots that I need to add to it. Oh, Tide! I didn't... <laughs> Tide jumped in, donated, and donated, and then left. <laughs> I think that does well enough. It does well enough, I think. The The other f odd thing that I've noticed about this is that um, the... Um, the guy has a little bit of his head... Do I have any side shots of him? No? I don't have any side shots of him. That's weird. Why don't I have any side shots? I know I have side shots. Ah! Mm, nope. Yeah, this kind of shows it, but his head is a little bit forward. I've I've checked and I've rechecked. His head is eight wide, I'm pretty sure. But here's a really weird fact about this guy. I think his head actually comes forward forward one pixel so uh it's it's kind of weird how his head is located it's almost like he's i think they're trying to reference the fact that the guy is hunched a little bit so that's that all right and now i need to get in the ears so let's go ahead and we're gonna actually duplicate just a single plane here and then I'm going to move this guy on back. And then we're going to scale him down a little bit. Oop, nope, we're not going to scale that way. Not going to scale that way. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And then I want that side. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. This thing needs to have all right let's see here we i haven't i didn't measure the uh size of this guy i'm gonna have to figure that out on stream here grab okay and then this one and that one this one and that one Okay, so, how big is this ear, actually? And I have it on the wrong side of the head. Go me. Uh, center orb is a bit different. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the center orb. I do have a plan for that. Creation dimensions. I do have a plan for that. In... And this is a cool thing that I uh, haven't seen from the other creators that have already made the models. Other people have just one straight skin. But what I can do is textures, Minecraft skins, uh, Minecraft textures, entity. And let's see here, where's Warden? Warden, 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 Warden. So I have here this texture and then i have just the texture for the glowing bits so the ear and the and the uh inner vines it almost looks like it lo looks like he has a, a massive organs or vines or something on the inside that's going to be a separate layer uh texture layer on top of that so it's going to look pretty cool and i'm glad that i'm going to be able to do this through blender whereas they can't they can only do it through minecraft um, I think, so let's get this correct here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10 tall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So right there. Where do those ears lie? I need to bring back that. Go back to... 
the thingy. Reference images, here we go. Uh, headshot, here we go. Alright, so that had the lowest pixel of the ear touches the top lip. Is on the same layer as the top lip of the of the head. So this just needs to come up to there, I believe. Okay, good. And then just to make sure that the normals, ooh, yeah, the make sure that the normals are facing in the right direction for the character. We're going to flip the UV instead of the object all uh scale x negative one flip the head there we go and then zoom on in sweet now we have the headpiece in save uh i brought snacks and something to drink sweet so here now we have <laughs> You select it like that, and it almost looks like a Mickey Mouse. It's like, ha 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 Hey, guys! We're gonna play with Goofy! <laughs> Did you just imagine this this thing coming out with, um, with a Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse voice? I can see you through the walls! <laughs> uh, all right so now that we have on that surface we can start doing something with the shade and with the shading see i like a i like a good i like a good layer of creepy on top of that vid the glowing orb thing uh uh links a bit looks uh links a bit intended indented indented yeah so here uh looks a bit indented yeah it's uh it's on the inside yeah all those all those weird glowy bits are on the inside so all right so we have the doohickey here and what we can do with this guy now is that we have two different layers uh two different textures and since both of the excuse me since both of them um, are on the exact same area, we'll be able to uh, just take the texture and plug that right in. So color, I want Warden Glow. So this one's gonna go there. Let's duplicate this too. Whoop, nope, I wanna duplicate you, thank you. Put the alpha into the factor. Uh, B A D S F. Link up. Thank you. All right, and then duplicate this guy. This is going to be a mixed texture. And then this shader is going to go into here. And then, uh, how do we do this? I know. I know there's a way that I can add it in, but I want to actually mix it in. All right, so I think, I think this is gonna work. No, oh wait, now I need to do that, right. All right, so I'm kind of getting it right now. I need to fix, fix this up a little bit, and I'm trying to remember how I did this. Um. Doohickey. Doohickey, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, this thing looks terrifying. It, it, I'm good. That means everything's working out perfectly. Didn't watch the, that part of the announcement. <laughs> uh, it is gonna be so much fun. Alright, so now I need to... Add this on top of what I want it to do. Um, how do I do this? I think the factor is going to fit on top of this. No. 
No. I think... I think how this is supposed to go... Uh, actually, you know what? Since I'm inside of the... Inside of the... MC Pallet, I can go over to my mob section and look at the villager. So mobs, mobs by Puka. Let's take a look at the villager again. So this guy, um, this guy has a pretty cool snazzy, snazzy ability here to switch in between different, different textures. Right now I have him as a farmer, farmer wandering trader, but let's see here. So I have the base texture, which is going to be the main warden and then I bring that into there and the factor all right so that's the texture and then the factor goes into that all right um so I need a default between the two I need a default in between the two to switch between both regular and not regular. So, uh, layout. Let's go ahead and back to this guy. So, what we need to do... What we need to do... Where is the textures? Here it is. So, let's grab you. Bring you over here. So this is on top of that, but I'm switching in between these two factors. I want alpha this. Right. And then if I switch this. Oh, well, there we go. Perfect. I think that works. All right, uh, turn down the specular. Yes, sweet. Now look look right up here. I think this is fantastic. If I jump right up here. Notice that, um, look at the ears here, up here. If I, if I move this specular thing, the only thing that changes is just the ears that are changing up here. So... Now, I can come down here. I'm going to turn off the specular on the just the skin. So, let's... Yeah, we, this thing needs to have a little bit of light absorption rather than reflection. So, now, in order to switch in between this and that, I need to have another mixed shader right here. And this mix shader is actually going to switch in between the two. So, we're, so now, now if I take this guy, the color, the base color instead, and put it through emission. Oops, that's not how I want that to happen. Okay, uh, put it through base color. Let's add in... Let's add in a little bit more emission to this, shall we? So we have this. Let's add a mix shader again. Mix shader into this section, and we are going to add in an emission shader. Emission. And this color is going to come from here. And poke into here, right? No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. That didn't work. Um... Let's skip that entirely, then. I think... If I just do the emission through this... Okay, what if I do that? Ah! There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. We want this to have the ability to change between our glowing and not glowing person here. So now, now our guy goes, wham, wham. Perfect. 
That's what we want. Does Eevee uh, use the same shader nodes as Cycles? No, it does not. Um, the animation... Well, let's go through these uh, comments here really quick. Uh, looks pretty good, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. The model looks awesome. I just don't like the idea of this mob. <laughs> you should make it... Uh, that when the warden gets closer, the lights get creepy. Yes. Yes, that's what I want to do, too. We are thinking on the same lines. When the animation... The animation is due on the 15th of this month. The... It came out, like, uh, the first. The competition started the first. So, I have only a few more days to, to go. Um, Eevee's does not use the same... Sh uh, shaders uh, shader nodes as cycles but as blender starts developing things things get pretty close i know before was it uh shift add in the compositing in the compositing area use nodes there wasn't the ability to have the picks there wasn't the ability to use the pixelate node but now now there's the ability to use the pixelate node inside of the compositing so when you do a, a full render of your video you can use the pixelate note as well so things are getting closer but there are still some factors in here like in cycles you you don't need to come down to the settings okay. area to make a, a make the area opaque or or alpha clip, which is just cutting along the edges. Uh, in in cycles, you don't even need to deal with that. But in Eevee, you need to make a specific thing. Mini game, basketball. Sure. Actually, do me a favor. Um, I want to see. Are, it, I think I have it set up so that way. The basketball can be done through the moderators. Give that a shot. See if that works. I'm hoping that works. And nothing. Dang it. Oh, wait. I saved on the wrong screen. Okay. Well, I'll just have to fidget with that. I'm like, oh, okay. Alright. Well, I'll just have to go through. I probably have it set on caster only. Oh, uh, so I will just fix that later. Basket. Ball. Do -do -do -do. Basketball. <laughs> the penguin, you actually have competition this time. Oh, wait, no, Ben's not here. Wait, wait, who who won against you last time? I thought it was Ben last time that beat you. Do do do. Join Red Puka. Second reminder to activate key buttons. Um. Yeah. That, there. Uh. Key buttons and thingy. Oh, on. Uh. It got turned off for some reason. Now that they're, they're still there. Uh, these. Wait, what? Hello? Yeah, that is odd. Huh. Yeah, the check, marks, check mark box was on, but none of the keys were showing up. That was weird. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that. I got no notifications. Uh, Apple Pencil just died. <laughs> Gotta com commit to CPR. <laughs> Did you... Uh, no. I have not done that yet. We are still at 87%. We are still at 87%. So if you add your points to it, I can embarrass myself in front of everyone. Alrighty, so let's see here. I need to. I 
think that's everything. I think all I need to do now is create the bones. And I think I'm going to make these bones pretty simple. I'm not going to put any bends into any of these arms. I'm just going to control just the bodies. So let's go ahead and do that. Add armature, single bone. Not where I wanted to put that. Let's have that cursor to world origin. Thank you. Single bone. There we go. Uh, display. Uh, in front. There we go. Okay, and then we will have this one be the head bone, since it is right there anyway. Head bone. Head bone. All right, duplicate you, bring you on down, and this one is going to be main bone. Main bone. You are going to connect to here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Whoops. Not how we want that to happen. Duplicate. Good. Have this one be the body bone. Okay, this one will connect offset to this. Keep offset. Good. This one connects to that one. Keep offset. Good. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this guy. R rotate Y90. Oop. 180. There we go. Bring you on over here. Shoulder bone. Or arm bone, rather. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's actually gonna be that's gonna be distracting when I animate this. So let's go ahead and shrink that thing. It doesn't need to be any longer than that, anyways. Ooh. Duplicate. Bring on over. This one should be connected to this guy, right? Uh, let's go to wireframe mode. No. No, it's not. These aren't connected. Why aren't you connected? Keep offset. There we go. Much better. Duplicate these guys. Bring you on down. And then shrink on the X axis. Uh, shrink X. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to move on along the grid base. Just so that these things are centered up. Much better. Move these legs on upwards. And now we need to... Just to make sure that things are a little bit easier, we're going to make some IK bones. Those should work just fine. We don't need any knee bones or anything fancy. Okay, and then we want to disconnect bone. Good. And these should be disconnect. Work. These should be disconnected. Yes. Oh no. Owl Carson has added some more points to it. We are at 89%. <laughs> the delay is too big. Uh... <laughs> I think um, I think the delay actually adds to the game a bit because you can't be taking a shot, taking a shot, taking a shot, taking a shot because you got to figure out exactly where you're headed so that way you can take your next shot. I think it's actually a good good balance, if you ask me. How many points do we need? You need 30,000 points, I believe. Alright, so we have our IK bones. So let's go ahead and jump back into this. Save the... 
everything. Good, and then these are gonna be our IK bones. Let's put in some constraints. Bone constraint, inverse kinematics. We're gonna just go one and target this armature bone. Uh, well, I apparently need to name everything. <laughs> inverse kinematics, let's go ahead and change that to one. Good. Target. And this one. Okay. Saved. Yay! Woo! -hoo! I missed the final score. Oh, wait. No, I can look back here. Creative Dimensions had the, had the MVP. Good job. <laughs> I know, right? It's a little slightly unbalanced, but meh. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't think. Uh, um. I don't know if I can actually stop that from being unbalanced. So, is the nature of the game. Animated a one minute dance montage. Hermit challenge, animate one minute dance montage. You know. Um, so cheese, I did I did complete that challenge if if I want to double dip my uh my hermit challenges. Um yeah, I've already I've already completed that challenge. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Sent that at the exact same time. Can't have enough hugs, right? Alright, let's n rename these bones, shall we? Alright, so this one is going to be called Main. This one is called Body. Body. Okay. And then head, L, uh, I'm going to call this arm L, actually. So this one can be called arm R, armor. That's the armor. I have lots of armor. Nair, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very much. Let's. This one is going to be called Legar. Legar. And then Leg. Legal. He's a friend of Legal Loss. And let's call this one IK. Uh, LL and this one is going to be called IKLR. Okay, good. And I think those are all the bones created. Let's go ahead and I want bone to IKLL. So that's going to point at IKLL. And then this one is going to be pointing at I K L R. So all right. So these things should now. Whoa! What are you doing? Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> these things need to not be connected to those bones. Okay. Keep offset. There we go. All right. So this thing should now. Whoops. Nope. Not do that. All right. So this thing moves that. Good. Which means that I can move the body without moving ooh, the the legs. Wait, what? 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 No, that's not right. How? Mm -hmm. This. Keep offset. Wrong direction of parentage. Okay. So tab. 
This, there we go. Now the body can move without the legs. That's what we're looking for. So the bottom, the legs will stay in place so that they have a bit of a gra bit of gravity where they need to go. So, all right. And then, oh, the head isn't attached correctly either. How well random uh, thingy works. <laughs> Dual random. Dual the puka. Uh, accept. I think that'll work, right? Accept the duel. And so cheese. Where is so cheese? Does that work? Um, I don't think any of us has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you need to sp uh, sp spend as many points as you have. I think that's how it works. I've been out of that game for for a while. I forget how to. Um... No, this to that. I want keep offset. All right, there oh, we go. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this guy actually, I should. Is he in the proper spot? No. Oh, I know what's happening. Okay. No, this this needs to change. That needs to change backwards. Okay. Now the head is in the right spot. And the rest of the body parts are in their correct spot. Let's go ahead and move this guy backwards a bit, too. Alright. So now, this... Oh, wait. I need to apply the mesh... Uh, the bones to the mesh. I have declined the duel? Oh, try that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Do it again. Accept... Except. First blood. Ooh. My axe is doing nothing to you. I have it. I have it. Oh, never mind. There we go. I got a critical hit. Oh, you got a critical hit. No. Mm, as long as you don't get a critical, I should do the okay. No! Miss. Miss. Oh, thank goodness. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, boom. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. That that was a miss that was a miss fest. <laughs> okay, so this needs to apply to this. We need to with empty weights, uh, empty groups actually. Set to parent with empty groups. Hmm. Actually, no. Let's let's go back really quickly. I want to select all of them and then then do this. Uh, wow, that was a, that was a juicy one. Empty groups. Okay, so now this should give me all the stuff that I need and be able to apply it rather quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and head. Congrats, so cheese. Dual puka. Accept. Do, do, do. Add weight to the head. And then, oh, oh, that's right. These need a wiggle on their own, don't they? These, let's see if we can go backwards a bit and then, shall we? How far back can I go?
And then, good. Good. Okay. And then... Oh, wait. No, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Make sure that all of this stuff is connected correctly. Yes, it is. All right. All of this. And then I need to add in a couple more bones, actually. So let's duplicate this guy. Bring him on over. Rotate on the y-axis, 90. Actually, you know what? No. No, we don't need to do that. Get simplified, yo. Get simplified. Mm. Yeah. I should be able to just do it from here, because that's where the base area is. And then... Keep offset. So that, those are going to be there. And then let's duplicate this guy. Bring him on over. Dual the puka. Accept. I don't think I can do that while they're doing. Yeah, I think there's a timer on this. You have to wait until uh, somebody's done dueling. Sorry. Didn't see my name quick in time. Let's do... What do we call these things? Uh, head two. Uh, horn? I'm gonna call them horn. Horn R. And I think I'll call this one... Horn L. Okay. Now let's go ahead and empty groups. Now that we have those, we can apply a bunch of these other things to it. Ah! There we go. Except. Do, 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 do. Uh, the Puka, you are animating without a chair. <laughs> In my in my in my avatar I'm animating without a chair. Huh. Don't know what the cooldown is on that. Should see if I I, I can get rid of the cooldown. I don't know. To be honest, I do not know. Uh, let's have you go to the head. Assign. Let's go to horn L. That's right, right? That is horn L. Yeah, okay, good. Horn L. Horn L. <laughs> horn L, sign, good. And then this is horn R, sign. This one is going to be body, sign. This one is going to be arm L, sign. This one is going to be arm R, sign. Good. This one is going to be leg L. This one is going to be leg R. Whoops. Nope. Remove. There we go. That should do everything, right? 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 Yep. Well, it looks like we're good. We got our little guy animated, uh, well, all meshed up with the proper things. Let's go ahead and rotate the body. Okay, good. That's all good. Rotate the arm. Arm works properly. Arm works properly. Head works properly. Good. Horn works properly. And horn works properly. Sweet. Okay, good. We now have an armature for the warden. <clears throat> oh, dang it. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bad 
outfit is it's not, not too looking too hot right now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change. Outfit change. Oh my gosh. We got to go to and see the worm man. Maybe he can save us. I wonder who that guy is. Masked identity. Don't know him. Let's see here. Oh, I'm looking the wrong wrong area for Worm Man. Worm Fox. Doink. Oh, wait, then no, that's game show. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Worm Fox. <laughs> okay, now let's do accept. Sorry. There we go. Now it's going. <laughs> and because your name is so long, it's actually going to look like you're taking more damage. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I am... I am so sorry. I would blame my battle axe, but I, I lost my last battle. I just saw you on what you were doing, and I clicked immediately. Because I'm curious in what you're doing. Making the warden is what we doing. Alright, so now we have ourselves a warden. Save this guy, and we are going to shrink him on down. Because he is far too big. Do, 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 do. Bring him out here. And then move him off to the left. So, I don't know how big the Warden is. Thank you for the follow, Ash Lily. Ash Lily. So, the Warden is now complete. We can get rid of these reference images. Uh, delete hierarchy. And the Warden can now join Mobs by Puka. We can open up this. Do -do. And so how big is the warden, actually? Or how big do we want the warden to be, actually? Because he is a little bit on the uh, don't know side. All right, bring him down here. Oop, too far. Oop, no. Scale up. Uh, I think he's going to be about four blocks tall, if I if I counted that correctly. So, if he's going to be four blocks tall... Yeah? Hey, I guessed correctly. Look at that. Four blocks tall. That is awesome. Alright, let's scoot you on over. Compared to all the other mobs... What do you have? So he's about... <laughs> uh, he's visually about as big as a ghast. Which... <laughs> and then... A little bit taller than a iron golem. And definitely taller than a wither skeleton. I think a, the wither... Where's the wither? Where is the wither? Oh, there's the wither. I had the wither in, in the same spot as the other thing. I thought the wither was four blocks tall. Hmm. <laughs> this my message is shiny. It is, in fact. I don't know. Let's take a look at some of these other images again. So... He might actually be three blocks tall. That's one, two, three... Yeah, he might be three blocks tall. Uh, so let's go ahead and shrink him just a little bit. Shrink on down. And then... Yeah, let's just make him like three and... Three-ish blocks tall. Which still makes him pretty tall next to all the other mobs. Like, I mean, he is about as tall as the Wither at that point, visually. And then Iron Golem, somewhere around that size. Yeah, 
We'll go three blocks tall. Three-ish. Alrighty. So now the warden is created, and we can move him into our creation now. So let's go ahead and do that. Save this guy. Mm, actually, let's bring on everything. Turn on everything, then save it. Do, do, do. All right, and get rid of the Minecraft palette. There we go. Actually, yeah, he's a little, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a little weird. Um, we need the, let's see here. These are the temple lights actors. We need to put him into actors. So let's go ahead and add that guy in. File, append, we want Minecraft palette. Projects, move back one. This guy, collections, warden. Okay, and then bring the warden on in. Oops, I forgot to rename that. Oh well. Warden bones warden bones because those are the bones of the warden bones of the warden uh where are you wardy wardy war blah, blah. ah there you are hello come on over here come on over here into your scene because you are the star of the show Zoop. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Uh, can change that in control panel. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. Screen cap keys are on. Good. Let's go ahead and rotate you on the z-axis, 90 degrees. Nope, negative 90. Thank you. So now, Wardy is into our scene. He's definitely looking a little bit different in, under this lighting. There we go, now I can see him. Put those feet on the ground. So the warden is going to be coming out of this little hole over off to the to the right area. And I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm wondering if um, I can do something. So I want all of these lights to to dim a bit, okay? I do want uh, most of these lights to dim, but I also kind of want um the warden to have kind of this black hole thing and a cool thing about blender that i found out is um all right take care little penguin hmm um the cool thing i found about about blender is that i can have a light in here that's a negative light so i'm wondering Thank you for the hug, the penguin. Mm, hug. Rrrt. Nope. 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 Hug. Le ping. Le pingui. Hug le penguin. There we go. I'm wondering if I can add in a negative light into the warden and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and input a light, a point light. And we're gonna have this light be right behind his body area. Oop, nope, I don't want that. Let's move you on down. And then attach yourself to the... Uh, oops. Actually, okay. Bone relative, do that. There we go. Now this guy should move around with with that. Good. 
All right, so let's see how that looks. So most of the time we're gonna ha see the 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 warden from from the back. I mean, from the we're gonna most of the time see the warden from the front. So if we have the warden have this weird point light here, let's move it into the warden area. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. If we turn this to power 100, uh, apparently not enough. Bring this back a bit, okay. Let's do power 1000. Okay, there we go. Now we can start to see a bit of light behind him, but a weird thing with Blender, if I turn this into a negative number, uh, not quite the effect I was going for, but what if I take off shadow? Oh. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Uh, not quite the effect I was going for, but it does kind of creep. Um, is there a way to... to blur out this distance? Uh, custom properties. I want it to trail off. Oh, 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 oh. What if I turn and in, increase the radius size? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's turning out right. So now, now any light that the point light is, oh, any light around him starts to just diminish. So we'll more, more than likely have a view of him from this direction. And as he moves through, as he moves through, the light will start to just disappear. So he is like a void of light. So that is, I like how that goes, but it doesn't do it enough for me, I don't think. Like it doesn't do it from the front, front faces of some of these things, unfortunately. Uh, let's go off to the light again, so we can change some of these effects. Oh, sorry, so cheese. <laughs> Ignoring my audience here, it's not a good, it's not a good choice. It isn't. It really isn't. Although I needed like a sound for like for everything, just to remind me that something's happening. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Shadow. Kind of yes, kind of no. Uh, let's do contact shadows. Hmm. So I think that does okay. There is... Yeah, I think that does okay. I think if I put on all the shadows, it has it has a de desired effect that I want. It gives just a nice creepiness around him. All right. So, now we need to have this guy into a position of hiding, and then he'll come out. So let's actually start to get into the posing of some of these characters. So this guy, we're going to want this guy to... And we're going to want to have him just kind of squeeze out of this hole, this uh, like if as if he shouldn't be able to fit in there, but he does and Just that factor will actually add to to the creepiness of him So he's gonna be inside here Fit you right on in there do, do, do. And then head on down. And then, so the first actions you're going to be in seeing of him are have him crawling out. So I don't need him to be in quite a realistic position, to be honest. So you won't be able to see him too much. 
So as we come up these stairs with Puka, yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't see him as he comes up here. There is a little bit of him here, but thankfully this color blends in with him, which I which is fantastic. Accident, but fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same hermit game. Listen, Green. Nobody touches my bushes. You're done. You're done. Nobody touches my bushes. You're done. It all started when Green touched my red red stone. He played himself like a xylophone set on automatic. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, so that's where the warden is going to be, and we actually we're going to need a we're going to need a portal for Puka to step through. So let's go ahead and jump over to Puka. Uh, player Fox. Yep. What is? Wait, what is this? Why is there two two thingies? Oh, that's right. That's right. For emissions and more face holes. We don't need any more face holes. Because we are just dealing with my character and he doesn't have any extra ones. Alright. Doc Monster is a savage. He's a savage. He's got technical skills and vocal acrobatics. Um, Portal. I'm gonna need some obsidian uh, and some text, I believe. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Let's get rid of the land. Okay, and atmosphere. Do, 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 do. I wanna get rid of the atmosphere. Sky and atmosphere, there we go. Unused blocks, I want um, obsidian, but I don't know where you're at. Where is the obsidian at? There it is. <laughs> yes, oh, croissant. I did voice the, the pretty horses. Yep. That was that was something that eventually came that uh, eventually just happened where I did eventually I did start off you think I've been hiding him just biding my time Sorry. putting pen to paper, paper coming, coming up, up with, with rhymes, rhymes with a star study group who got together just, just to, to crush, crush you. you once we start, start something you know we're, we're going gonna to see, see it through. through you know we're going to see it through you just know it Yeah, eventually I just got to the point where I could just do the pretty horses voice where I didn't need any additional uh, manipulation of my voice. I could just do it. Which is both kind of awesome and sad at the same time. They, they, they are together and they cannot be separated. It is both sad and depressing at the same time. Let's go with land... Let's just put you in the land area. Um, I do need some... I do need some text. I do need some proper text. Uh, let's... I wonder. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I know what I can do. I can know what I can do. I can bring back the land. Do, do, do. And let's go into solid uh, textured view just so that things can move around a little bit faster. I want that obsidian to come right over here. Actually, let's open up a new one. Let's call this um, portal. Portal. I'm going to put the obsidian in the portal area. Uh, epic soldier uh, I'm the knight 
the soldier who brings the fight. Oh, okay. More of that. Pow. Hello, all. What a thing to join. <laughs> Hello, Poe. You all had the insight. Hermit game. Yeah. I wasn't doing hermit game, I swear. I just... I... I believe you, Jen. I believe that you weren't doing it. Um, We're making the portal now that the Puka is going to be stepping out side of Creative Dimensions. So let's bring on that obsidian. Mm, how'd that work? No. Uh, oh, selection the cursor. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, go to the warden really quickly. Did I move everything? Did everything just move? I don't think everything moved. No? Everything didn't move. Okay, we're good. Where is my obsidian? Shift S. Selection the cursor. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Don't know what happened there. Okay, save this up. And we have ourselves a obsidian. So thing we're going to do is I'm just going to make a quick portal and just use some array modifiers because this thing isn't going to be moving at all. So let's go ahead and add in modifiers. An array modifier. Nope. I want you to go on the y-axis. Thank y'all. And zero on this side. Do do. Add in a few more blocks. Good. And then... We want to duplicate this. I'm actually gonna duplicate this. Ooh, I just had an idea. Eh, forget it, it's fine. We will then duplicate this and then rotate X 90. Or, nope. Mm, duplicate. Rotate X negative 90. There we go. And then duplicate this guy. Bring you on over here. Okay. And then I want... Actually, let's take these two. Grab X. Bring you down. Nope. Grab Y. Oh, oh, grab Z. I know which direction I'm going. I know which direction. I know which direction I'm going. Don't tell me which direction I'm going. I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Not a single clue. There we go. Your diamond armor can't compare. Oh, that. <laughs> Tongue got tired with <laughs> with the acrobatic word part. <laughs> Caffeinated, animated. Caffeinated, animated. No, how is that? At no, we're all, we're still at eighty nine percent with the um with the challenge on stream at some point. I know. I know. The challenge is there. The challenge is there. I think what I can do now is save. I can... Nope. Let's get... Jeez. This. This. Alright. Here. That. There. Good. What I can do is add in some text. I'm going to add in text. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Mm, location, I want the rotation of 90. Okay, good. And Z, rotation, 90. Good. And then let's go ahead and bring this text down a little bit. The letter T. Inconspicuous letter T. Let's go ahead and give this an extrusion. Extrusion? Geometry, extrude. Whoa. Just a little bit. Not too much. There we go. And I want to change the font. So let's go ahead and change the font. I think it's uh, standard galactic alphabet. Standard galactic alphabet is the language of Minecraft. So there we go. And then we just duplicate this guy. Oh, wait, nope, nope, not duplicated. Not yet, not yet. Mm. Ho is saying uh, to make me do it. <laughs> Well, you need a button for it too. But uh, once once you get better at it, you said you want you want to get better at it. I'm okay with being horrible at it. <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> that outfit is not, not looking, looking too hot right, right now. now. You need something that looks prettier. Outfit change! Just being this little sneaky around there. Good job, Ash Lily. Let's go ahead and change our suit out to the spy suit. Spy suit? Spy. There we go. And the spy suit I've actually fixed for the shoulder, although the d lower right of my shirt kind of glitches every now and then, but not too much I can do about that. It's very swish. Got myself a suit. I'm a spy. So I need to change this to a... I want to change this to a lava lava flow and then oh that's not gonna work just lava a little bit not super okay but somewhat okay can I actually, can I unwrap? Uh, oh yeah, that's right, uh, lava still. Oh, that's, that doesn't work either. Why don't you work? Well, that's irritating. Oh, I know why you don't work. So it's just on just on that one frame that it okay no we're good now I think we're good now mm, X go X gonna give it to you gonna give it to you um I think that'll do I think what I'll do uh, oh no, if that's lava still. Can I get Lava Flow to work right? Yeah, okay, F Lava Flow is working right now. All right, not perfect, but I'm not looking for perfect. And let's go ahead and we're gonna change up this shading a bit too. Zoom right on to this guy. I want, what can I do to this guy? I think, I think what I can do is I can change the color here. So let's go ahead and add in a color hue and saturation. And we're gonna change out this, I believe. So if we change the hue value, no? Well, why not? 
Okay. Move back. Okay. Let's change the hue value to something completely different. Drop it in here. There we go. Now we're, now we're getting, getting somewhere. Let's have it be purple-esque, but turn down the value a bit. Um, that doesn't seem right. Something's going on here. What if I turn down the saturation? No, that don't work, right? You're supposed to be at one. Uh, factor. What if I turn down the factor a bit? Weird. Yeah, we'll go with... Alright, we'll go with purple here. Purple as we can get. And then... Let's see about it going through its motions now. Yeah, that'll work. Now I just need to increase its emission. So we want you to have an emission. So let's increase its emission a little bit more too. Good. All right, we'll have it at that level. And then let's bring up that factor a little bit more. Layout. There we go. Now we got some purple glowing ruins. Ruins. Mmm, it's part of... Uh... Um... The, yeah, the axes is... The axes mostly go with the, the block guys. There's a lot of options for the block guys, at least. I know that much. Ooh. Goodness sakes. Oh, it's almost six o'clock. Goodness sakes, it's almost six o'clock. That's right. I needed to. I needed to stop at six o'clock in order to. Because um, I got an appointment for later. So let's go ahead and get these runes. Um, runes done. Uh, save this, and then we can now duplicate this, and we are going to bring this down a single block. And we'll go with the letter G for that one. Duplicate side obsidian this. is sideways. Huh. Side obsidian is sideways. Well, okay then. Uh, well. Let's rotate on 3D cursor. Let's rotate. Which way does Obsidian go? Is it Y? Oh, rotate X ninety. Is that right? No. Oh, oh, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Okay. Whoops. I know what's going on. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. These rotate. Uh, no, 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 not not on the thingy. We want individual points. We want individual points. We want rotate X um, 9D. Okay, we want 90. And actually, we want to change the modifier to 1 here and 0 here. 0 here. Nope. Uh, 0. We want to change it to Z. Negative Z. Negative Z, that's what we want. All right, negative Z, and then zero here. There we go. Huh? Thank you, I appreciate that very much. <laughs> that's right, because I rotated the, the blocks in order to make sure that they were pillars on the side, but I forgot that the textures also flip when I, when I do that. So now, I just had to change the array modifier. So there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see here. We want this to change to the letter, uh, no, J. 
That is the letter J. Move this guy on over, like so. And then this guy, duplicate, and we're gonna move you on over to this side. I want you to be the letter Q. Q is an interesting little letter for that. Duplicate. I want you to be the letter uh, P. That's a different one. Duplicate. Bring on down. And you are going to be the letter W for Warden. Well, that one's weird, too. All right. Let's grab these two, move these over, center them a little bit on the blocks. There we go. Here we go. Uh, I want to move this one over a little bit, too. There we go. Mm, portal is however I want to make it inside of Blender, since it's anything that I want it to be. Um, I will grab, however, a portal. I need to grab a portal thingy. So Minecraft, Minecraft palette. Uh, where would it be? Would it be inside of Nether? Do, 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 do. Portal. Yeah, here it is. Mm, let's go back to the room, the room where it happened. The room, the room where it happened. I want to be over here. No, where am I? Pathway? What the hell? Oh, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I'm looking out here and it's just like, I'm in Blender. How does anything catch in fire in Blender? What's happening? I'm just like, oh yeah, that's right. The fire, the fire block is inside the nether, nether collection. So I, I know what I'm doing. I swear, I know what I'm doing. Don't, don't look at me like that. I know what I'm doing. Um, let's go to selection. Nope, that's not right. Um, Control S. Now that's save. Uh, and I think it's I think it's Shift S. Yeah, there we go. Selection the cursor. There we go. Move to land portal. I wanted to move that to the portal. Now get rid of this. And now our little problem with the the fire is gone. <laughs> How did that catch on fire? That shouldn't that shouldn't have catch on fire. Uh, square portal. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Got something I want to say. Hey. <laughs> Change my avatar to bread? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, oh. <laughs> uh, that's very lovely of you. <laughs> Rotate Z, 90. Let's move this on over to this position. Just do for the of you. Do, 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 bo, do, 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 uh, do, Creative Dimensions, congratulations. You need to be changed up. You need to have volume settings. Here we go. I don't want opaque. I want, I believe, blend. Yeah, here we go. I want blend and back face calling. Yeah, let's do back face calling. All right, and then add an array modifier onto this guy too. Love this modifier now that I've found out about it. And Z, oh, I need a another modifier, that's right, another array modifier. And that is going to be right here. And then pop right up. And now I have my portal. My portal is made. And this one should 
move. Cool, good. So now I got little runes on the side here. And I can just take these little runes and I can just pop them into the block and then pop them back out when they're being activated. So that way the portals can just pop right open. There. Good. Oh, uh, it's a bit too transparent. A bit too transparent. Uh, I've been thinking what I want to try and do, actually, when I have Puka go through the portal. I want to see if I can use um, a Boolean modifier and have him just kind of flow out of the portal. Uh, just kind of form out of it. And if I do a Boolean modifier... Oh, wait, no, that's right. I have a Boolean on top of a Boolean. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Oh, I'm going to give it a shot. I do want it a little bit transparent uh, because I want to see if I can have myself kind of form through the portal, kind of like Stargate. So that way you can see the other side of it and you can see just the formation of the character coming through. Uh, has declined. Uh, so, all right. I think that's everything for a, the setup right now. Ooh, I can see the portal through here. You can see the portal through the cracks. Let's move this over a bit then. There we go. Not quite. There we go. Let's go over to our warden. Ooh. Turn on our little shader packed here thingy. So, all right. I've got an appointment that I need to keep. I'm going to go now by... Well, take care, Ashley. Uh, we're actually going to end the stream here, too, um, because I got an appointment that I need to keep, uh, so I will do that. Let's see who, who's working now. Artificial Yogurt and Fibro Wolf. Let's go ahead and go with Fibro Wolf. I'm going to pull up his stream here. Do, do, do. Bring up another Twitch. And then I want to go to Fibro Roof. Fibro Roof. And then mute him really quickly. And get through my ad. Do, do, do. Stream. Cool. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Um, I actually have some time off this week. I might stream later in the week. Uh, possibly Friday morning, I think. I don't remember. Sometime this week, I'm going to get... Uh, I have some time off from work, so I'll be doing some more of this animation. So, all right. Take care, everybody. We are going to go ahead and raid Fibro Wolf. Bye! Do, do, do. Bum, bum. Do, do. Getting the stream ready for its raid. Do 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 pa pa da pa da pa pa da pa da pa pa da pa da pa pa da pa pa da pa da pa pa da pa da pa